Proverbs 1 to 8, 13, 9, 8, listen, my son, to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching. 9. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. 10. My son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. 11. If they say, come along with us, let's lie in wait for innocent blood. Let's ambush some harmless soul. 12. Let's swallow them alive, like the grave and whole, like those who go down to the pit. 13. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder. 15. My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their pots. 16. For their feet rush into evil. They are swift to shed blood. There are uncountable stories of evil escapades of very young actors who engage in unimaginable activities ranging from murder of parents and close associates for ritual and other reasons, not to mention of rape, fraud, and other forms of illicit, immoral participations. In short, the propensity and desire for evil is insatiable, the main reason for the above scriptures. And you, the parents, have a great role to play. Deuteronomy 31 is 17, 19 KJV, Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day. And I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us? Because our God is not amongst us, now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. The sunset is always beautiful. Is a confirmation that you can have a beautiful ending. However, if you don't train your child in the way he should go, according to the scriptures above, what would your sunset look like? May God give you understanding. Enjoy your day. EOD Adedum kindly press the middle paragraph twice it will stop for you to read after reading. Press once it will continue to the next page and repeat saying till you finish reading thanks.